hi friends welcome back to the channel so in the today's video we are going to see the practical installation of the HANA database but before start the today's video I want to recap last video we learn about the deployment approach we learn about the TDI and SAP appliance then we learn about the recommended file system so in that we learn about the database directories and the local directories in the today's video we are going to see about the installation of the HANA system or we can say the HANA database why I am saying this system because when we do the installation that time two database instance get create in which the first one is the system DB and the second one is the SID which we provide while doing the installation of the HANA system so in our case we are going to provide the SID that is the HD1 so let's start the practical I'm logged in on the HANA host with the root user so for doing the installation we need a root user access we need to download the software in the respective directory and provide the appropriate permission like the triple seven before start the installation we are going to use the database version and that is a 2.0 sp2 we have to use under then X and provide the first file that is the exe1 it will take automatically remaining files so in our case we can see that the it's showing that already the folder or the directory is already created hence we have to select the option like override or rename it or we have to quit the this operation we will rename it manually from our side so now I am in the same directory before the renaming the folder I am entering the command that is the MV then the actual name and then the name which we are going to use then I given that now we can see that it's renamed with the old and if we you know start the same command again it will show us extraction so now we can see that it's showing the percentage how much extracted so once it reached to 100 percent in the folder with this naming convention will get create here so now we can see that the same folder is got created with the same name so once the all file got extracted we will start the installation of the HANA database now we can see that all the files successfully uh, got extracted under this folder and I deleted the old one so now I'm going to the location where all the installables are stored so this is the path name of the folder then data underscore unit under then HDB server Linux 64 bit and under this folder we can see the installable files that is the HDB LCM HDB LCM GUI, HDB LCM web. In our case, we are going to use the HDB LCM. We are going to do the installation with the command line. So just put the dot, then slash, and HDB LCM, and then press enter. You can see that all these components are available under this installable folder. First, we have to select the action that we want to perform so we want to perform the installation for that reason and I'm entering the one and press the enter okay now the next option is that we have to select the additional component for the installation we can see that total nine option we got here so in our case we just want client and studio if I select one the all components will get selected and if I don't want to 
select any additional component then I have to select the two index for the client 3 if I have to install only client then just I have to press enter but in our case we need a client and studio so for selecting the multiple components what I have to do that I will press 3 then 4 by putting the comma and then press enter so now we can see that it selected the client and studio now it asking for the path of the installation where we want to install the HANA database we can see that it automatically taken the path that is the HANA slash shared in last video I informed that we must know the mandatory directories those required for the HANA database because if these directories are not available then installation will get failed that reason we have to create and mount the mandatory directories of the HANA database that are HANA slash shared HANA slash data and HANA slash log apart from that all the subdirectories will get create automatically when we will do the installation so for HANA shared I am pressing enter because it's all default is selected here it asking for the host name so in our case the host name is same just pressing the enter after that it's asking that enter the host name so as we have the single host uh, so we need not have to enter uh, any host name here because this is applicable to the multi host so it's saying that do you want to add the host to the system so in our case as we have the single host we are not going to enter anything we will just put and or we just have to press enter now here we have to provide the HANA system ID means SID we are going to use HD1 so after that it asking for instance number it's a default instance number is double zero but we will provide the zero one now it's asking for the local host worker group so we are not entering any other group it, we are taking the default one so just press enter now we have to select the role of the system so in our case we are going to use this system as a test system so we will select the option to do the installation of the production then you have to select one if the development select three and if the custom then select four so in our case it's a test system and so I selected the two and press enter now it's asking for the data volume path so data volume path we can see default it taken that path that is a HANA slash data and apart from that it added the uh, SID of the HANA database so then I'm just pressing the enter now it's asking for the log volume path so that is the also HANA slash log then SID I am pressing the enter now it's asking that restrict the memory so we don't want to restrict the memory because we just have the single system on it so I'm just pressing the enter now it asking for the certificate for the host so in our case the host name is s and the certificate as well is showing defaultly as s so there is no need to change it so just press enter now it asking the password of the administrator system administrator that is the OS level admin that is the SID ADM so we will provide the password now now we just again have to enter the password for the reconfirmation okay taken the password now it asking for the home directory that is a USR SAP then the SID and the home so it's a correct one we will just press enter now it asking for the login shell so no change just press enter now it asking for the administrator user ID that is a 1000 is a default one so I'm not going to change anything just will press enter and now it's asking the password of the database user that is the system once the installation is finished we have to use the system user to configure the system into HANA studio then we can create the rest database admin user those we require so I'm just putting the password for the system user just reconfirm the password 
it asking for do you want to restart the system when the installation is finished so we don't want to reboot the system so I will just put N and then enter now before start actual execution it given the summary that we have to review so we can see that all the option those we selected or the parameter those we provided we can see here so all these are correct I am just entering the yes and pressing the enter now we can see that it started the first installation of the HANA database so first it preparing the packages and then it installing that packages if we have to check the status then we just have to go to the path that is a var slash tmp and then list the file here we can see that hdb lcm trace and hdb inst trace so once the installation is finished this hdb lcm log file will get appear where we can see the how much total time is taken for installation of the HANA database as well as for the components those we selected while starting the installation now we can see the installation of the HANA database is going on approximately it will take 20 to 30 minutes for doing the installation of the HANA database you can see here in the first step it created HANA system and now it creating the database instance now we can see that HANA database instance now got a created and now it's starting the server work processes of the HANA database so when this all the server work processes started successfully it will do the installation of the HANA database client then HANA studio now we can see that it started all the services and if I have to check the status of the HANA database instance then I just need to log in with the SID ADM user admin user of the OS level of the HANA database and then just use the SAP control command so in SAP control just type SAP control then NR is for the instance number in our case we enter the 01 and then the function that we have to use so in our case the function is we have to check the processes status so get process list so remember G P and L must be capital so we can see that all the server work processes of the HANA database are running and the status is green so if the status is green for all the services it means HANA database instance that is the HD1 as well as system DB is successfully started in your case if you have the multiple tenant database then you will see that index server name will be the multiple one here we can see that all the delivery units successfully imported and now the installation of the HANA database client started and it almost finished so now it is installing the HANA studio so now we can see it installing the SAP HANA studio update repository importing the delivery unit of the HANA studio so now here it updating the SAP HANA database instance integration on the local host and deploying the SAP host agent configuration okay so now we saw that installation is successfully completed so in case if there is any issue we will get the error here so and to get the more information as I said we just have to open this file.
now we will just check the how much time it taken to complete this installation of the HANA database then HANA database client and studio so we can see here for installing the SAP HANA database it took the 16 minutes and 12 seconds and for the HANA studio it took the 3 minutes and 37 seconds and for the client it's a 34 seconds so somehow it taken the 20 minutes to do the installation of the HANA database so now as I said earlier it create all the sub directory automatic so now we will go and we'll see whether the sub directories are created or not so we have to go to HANA slash data and then we will see which are the folders got created so we can see that HD1 is created and under HD1 the subdirectory that is the MNT under which if we see in details we will get the other subdirectories according to the services all prerequisite we need to meet before starting the actual installation of the HANA database so if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the notification about the upcoming videos thank you so much for the watching the video take care